Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I am the R Genius, but you may call me Eric, and I really missed being able to start out on this screen every time while looking at a character model of preferably a female character, although I, I did not mind Oliver either, to be honest there, if you know what I mean. Okay, anyways, um... We got a bunch of Zepeth in the last episode. We got through the sewer area, the aqueduct uh, duct at Balstar or something. And um, we fought Kurt, who was pretty strong. Oh god, no, 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 no. You can't set a high-grade quartz without an upgraded slot. You damaged the orbment if you tried. You'll need Zepeth to upgrade your slots, but a nice bonus is that the upgrade increases your max EP capacity too. Ugh, I shouldn't have skipped what I just had there. You can still read it out, but I, I thought I'd get the dialogue again. Okay, upgrade. Slot, Estelle. Preferably this one. Um, which ones can I upgrade? I can upgrade this one currently, or this one. But sadly, it's an or, not an and. Slot 2. I'd rather upgrade this slot. Because uh, I, I'm gonna get a chance to upgrade this later on, but this was more expensive and that is useful. Okay, now quartz. Um, what can I buy? I've bought... Oh, actually, I can't afford that, can't I? Impede, I can definitely not afford that, but EP Cut, I can. EP Cut is nice. Synthesized EP Cut. Let us now switch out our orbments. Um, still, defense. Uh, I'm not going to put defense there. I'm going to put, ooh, Heaven's Eye. Um, space elemental value, two times fire, three times gold, one times silver. Combine the efforts of eagle eye, the, the effects of eagle eye and information. Beautiful. Heaven's eye. Uh, then, and then we have this attack one down there, which I'm fine with. And this cast one, I'm gonna switch out for EP cut. Yes, and then I'm gonna stone hammer. That's only gonna add one stone hammer, but that would uh, it would add that stone ha stone hammer anyways. I can just put the uh, defense quartz, the the one here, and the cast one here. Heaven's eye, good golly. And now we have access to Dark Matter. Space. Single attack crushes the foe's body with compressed space. I hope that does damage. 36 EP. Oh my goodie gumdrops. Shards an enemy th with searing flames. The EP are gonna be a problem. The EP are going to become a problem. Actually, right now I'm going to... Food item, and uh, no, no, no. Use on her. Learned recipe for herb sandwich. I wanted to see that because now I can look at these. That's not how my sandwiches look. I might, when I make sandwiches, they look kind of dork, but that is because I am a male human being and I am not particularly artsy. Anyways, these surprise cookies are very nice. A rock hard ballistic biscuit. Who baked this thing? But you need a bunch of. We, really? Strength 500. That, that is one of the more interesting food items I've come across in uh, gaming history, but that's okay. There's probably many of those kinds out there. Let us fall asleep like a rock. Stay up! Actually, oh, mmm, so tired. Time to hit the hay and get ready for tomorrow. I actually wanted to talk to Atlas again, but I kind of messed up. Hmm? Did I hear something? 
Don't care. Mm, so sleepy. Screw it. Deal with it in the morning. Still. Still, you awake? No. Still, wake up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Analyst. Estelle, you're awake, thank Idios. Come on, grab your gear. What's wrong? You look so pale. And those sounds. Wait, is that gunfire? Yeah, we are under attack by somebody. I don't know who. Kurt's trying to fight them off, but we need to go help him. I wish I could change that fast. Okay. Still locked? Still locked. Just making sure. Kurt doesn't look so good. Mm, that should hold them off for a moment. Are you... Uh, are you alright? He's not! Kurt, your arm! It's nothing. Just a scratch. It's far more important that we put an end to this intrusion. Kurt! Kurt, are you okay? You're injured! Estelle, Annalis! Forgive me, I let my guard down. As you can see, the Lodge is under attack by a group of armed men. I need your help in driving them away. Roger! But, but they hurt you, Kurt! Who the heck are these guys? I'm not yet entirely certain, but I got a fairly good look at their gear when fighting a moment ago. Judging from its design, I would guess they're Jaegers. Jaegers? Hang on! You mean those... Jaegers? You mean, you mean those elite crazy mercenaries I heard about in Gransel? But, 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 but what would... They, why would they be here? Outside of Liberal, the Guild and the Jaegers are dire enemies. It is not out of the question that they would dare to attack us here, though it would be oddly ba brazen even for them. Given that, though, this could very well be at the, uh, at the behest of the society. What? You mean... Son of a... <laughs> that is a nice tune. Crushes his foe's body with compressed air. A mysterious combatant that suddenly attacked blinds with smoke and then charges in. I love new fighting music, especially if it's good. All right, we're gonna use arts. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use arts to start it out. Preferably the very big one I just learned. Oh, oh! That didn't do that great damage, did it? That did 300? Okay, single attack slashes the enemy with chaotic sword strikes. Single kick followed by a mid-air strike attack delay. Seems like a good idea right now. Fallen leaves, fallen leaves, fallen leaves on the ground. What do you have? Um, courage, impede... I'm gonna use that dark matter attack. Oh wait, flare arrow could also be something I can use. What what kind of damage does flare arrow do? 500. Okay, dark matter is uh, the thing that did the most damage. I or, or no, that's not the thing that this, did. I think fire dam a fire arrow just did as much as that other thing did. How like a how like a sword strike in the face as much as arts. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that. What kind of damage does that do? Oh yeah, that 
that's actually pretty good because it's actually both of them attacking. Okay. Think it, uh, that is a thing to note. The good thing about a chain attack. Oh. You missed! The good thing about a chain attack that it's both of the characters, or three of the characters, or four of your characters attacking the same enemy at once. They're actually attacking. It's not only that they get a buff from each other, no, they're actually attacking. That was smart on his part to just run away to do that. That was a little, that was a little funny. I almost don't want to finish this guy because I want to listen to more than this music, but that's okay. Goodbye, enemy. Alrighty. Got stuff. I love stuff. Uh, we managed to win somehow. Okay, whoever you are, drop the weapon and surrender. Heh, <laughs> your brats are better than I thought. Still not good enough, though. What? Gah! A smoke bomb! <coughs> mm -hmm. Nighty night, little kittens. What? Hmm. Morning already feels to err. Uh, what? What the heck? Where in the goddess name? I remember an attack and then. <coughs> Analyst? Wake up, Analyst. Oh no. <laughs> stuffed bunny and the stuffed teddy bear. Oh, which one to pick? Can I take them all, Grandpa? What the heck kind of dream? Analyst, come on, wake up! This is not the time. Oh, oh morning, Estelle. All right, times for morning practice. Gee, no, it is not time for morning practice. Just wake up already. Get it together. Ah. Wait, I'm Estelle. What's going on? This isn't my bedroom. That attack thing was just a bad nightmare, right? Boy. Don't I wish. If we both remember it, though, I kinda doubt it was a dream. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Wow, man, looks like we lost the match. No points for me. Analyst, why do I get the sense you are still half asleep? Anyway, let's go over what we know. Get our bearings and stuff. So, last night a group of men who looked just a bit like Jaegers attacked the lodge. I remember Kurt was wounded and right after we arrived an enemy jumped in through the window. And right after that it was lights out for me. Yeah, that matches what I remember. The question is how the heck did we wind up here? Good question. That's a, that is kind of weird. It looks like they left most of our stuff on us, but... Yeah, all my combat gear's missing, man. Oh yeah, mine too. So that means we were probably brought here by... Who brought Estelle and Annalis into the forest? They took our combat gears. Some third party... Ugh, why would the Jaegers... Ugh, let's say the Jaegers. Yeah, that's the obvious answer. One thing's still bugging me though. It's just... Why didn't they tie us up or, I don't know, stab us or something? They just left us in the open. Well, let's see. After knocking us out and disarming us, something happened and they had uh, to quickly retreat somewhere else, leaving us behind. Yeah, that's pretty believable. In that case, sticking around here is like asking to get our heads cut off. Estelle, you still have that map? Oh yeah, we still have some of our food stuffed, so yeah, here it is. Yeah, I thought so. There's the same craw forest where we were training last night. 
in their same craft forest where we were training last night. I'm guessing that's where we are now. So in that case, our first goal should be getting out of the forest and checking on the lodge, right? Yeah, I want to see if we can find Kurt and make sure he's okay. Like you said, we gotta get out of this stupid forest. Alright then, let's get out of here. We're basically sitting ducks without our gear, remember? So we need to be careful. Got it. It would be nice if we could reclaim our gear somehow. Okay, what do we have? Practice weapon. Practice weapon. Orbments? Nope, we're not sitting ducks. They did not take our com combat orbments. That was not smart on their part, but they did take uh, the... They, they stripped me. They stripped me. They actually managed to strip me. Okay, why is there a tent? What's this? A Jaeger tent? Oh, what's this? A Jaeger tent? That would be my guess. Let's take a peek inside. We might find, so find something useful. Five times Tiara Bomb. Two times EP Charge. Well, looks like that's everything. Darn it, I was hoping we'd find our gear in there. Man, I wish it was that easy. Still, the tent's in a good shape. We could probably nap here if we need to take a quick rest. Quick in quotation marks would be more accurate. We don't have time to just lounge around, but if we really need a rest, we should keep it in mind. Good idea. Gear is not just lying around here. Does not seem like it. Oh, there's an enemy. What kind of direction are you facing, Mr. Plant? That was preemptive. Okay. So I cannot tell. I cannot really tell in which direction he is looking, but he is weak to fire. Which is nice. Fire is what we have. Fireball on him. And... Fireball on him. And that would be the fight. Because we got a preemptive strike. That was easy. Good experience. Um... Okay, that was not a lot. Prickly seed. Oh, Bob. Where'd you come from? Strange cat dog thingy. Another preemptive strike. You look kind of like a kangaroo. Okay, what are you? Um, a bush lancer. A cat type monster with sharp claws. When it tires, it will rest to recover stamina. Um, weak against wind. Nice. You have wind. Means you're gonna air strike the one in the very back. And the stealth's gonna hit this one in the front in the front. I couldn't reach. Alright. Fine. Next barrage then. That is completely fine by me. I do wonder why they left us alive, though. I, I mean, tying people up is one thing, but if you are mercenaries and you're already using, like, guns and stuff... Bush Lancer is resting. It looks like he's playing dead. Aw. Oh, good running away in his part. Can't reach with him either. Oh, fine. Good hit, man. In the strength route, round two. Beast flesh, leathery tail. I do not have a map of this place, but there's in, in, in a good amount of enemies here. What in the world is that? That is its back. Ooh, boy! <laughs> yep. 
You remember? Rolling Thorn experience. Look at the experience gain on these shining palms. A dastardly shining fluff, insanely quick and well insane, near impossible to hit, except for with S breaks. Alright, this is not a fight we are going to win against those little guys, because they are either going to run away or um, do other shenanigans. But this is awful, because what we just saw means we, we just got information. The guy was a rolling thorn, and the fight is joined by six of the Shining Palms. Now, I don't know if the fights are actually randomly generated, or if uh, the Shining Palms don't show up now as Shining Palms. I could use my 100 CP, that is a definite hit, but um, they have 450 health, I doubt that I'd do it with one. Fled. Sparkling mighty! They still exist, you flee. You... Oh! What are you... Are you absorbing, are you absorbing my EP? They're absorbing my CP, actually. Shining Palm is sparkling, sparkling mighty. Okay, let's actually test this. Normal craft. It missed, or did it? Yep. Alright, um, that's gonna be it then. You flee? Okay, fight is done, we get 11 experience. Those guys give 600. Those guys give 600. Worth mentioning? I think so. Now we know what we're working on. I remember that it was the rolling thor thorn here who had the shining palms. Where am I going? I don't want to go in the right direction. Oh, don't give me this splitting path bullshit. Mm. Reinforced boots. Hey! Do you think this could be our equipment? Sure looks like it. The rest of our stuff might be hidden around like this. Cool, I kinda like uh, I'd kinda like to avoid fighting the monsters, but we do need to find our stuff. Physically sensi uh, sensing that there's nothing inside, you walk away from the chest without disturbing it. Mm -hmm. Do I now? How interesting. I guess I should be glad I have that tent back there that will... Oh, wait, they were uh, weak against the wind. I have that tent where I can recharge EP when I need to. And we have a, fight, a shining palm fight waiting to be fought. Before I am able to fight that fight, I am gonna have to recover my CP though. No, 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 no. Let's get a little closer. Actually, no, that does not give you the uh, the Zepeth Rao round, so I'm not gonna do that. Catnap, Bush Lancer is resting. Quite far away, actually. Come on, man. You are kidding. Okay, I'm not gonna follow him around anymore. It is too annoying. He fled to the very back of the area. Nice one. Now you attack. We are good to go, Leathery Tail, Beast Flesh. 
Um, but with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.